The police service is committed to upholding the constitution in enforcing law and order without fear or favor while protecting the lives and property of people. Members of the public are key in enhancing efficient service delivery by the police. Hence this platform where we interact with you for a concerted effort in combating crime. Thank you for joining us. My name is Onisisa Sivanda. We start this week's episode with a look at issues to do with the COVID-19 pandemic. The Zotherapy urges members of the public to observe that the country is still under level 2 lockdown in order to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. The following were exempted to operate during this period. Essential services, businesses in the former commercial and industrial sectors. The rest of the public should stay at home in order for the nation to manage the increase in the new COVID-19 cases currently being recorded. The ZRP is concerned with people who continue violating lockdown regulations and by the 1st of June 2020, a total of 50,729 had been arrested for such offences. On the same date, a further four returnees escaped from quarantine centres with the cumulative figures for escapees rising to 157. In view of this, Police and other security services have stepped up patrols, roadblocks and surveillance in order to ensure compliance. We urge members of the public to report any suspected or known escapees who do not have the relevant papers that permit them to rejoin the community. Your maximum cooperation will help the nation to win the battle against COVID-19. As the police continues to enforce lockdown regulations as pronounced by the government, Police in Bulawayo have impounded vehicles which were being used to flout the COVID-19 regulations. The therapy spokesperson for Bulawayo province spoke on this operation. These vehicles that we are seeing before me, they are part of 120 vehicles that have been impounded. Their owners are violating the lockdown regulations. When it is directed that only Zuko buses operate we have arrested more than 2,000 for violation of the lockdown regulations. We therefore appeal to our general members of the public to adhere to the rules and regulations of the COVID-19 and other laws that are obtaining in the country. Because COVID-19 is real and we want to protect people of Lawayo, we are not going to hesitate to impound any vehicle without fear or favor Anyone who is seen or found driving in town without a proper explanation will have his or her vehicle impounded. Please let us work together and make sure that we remain safe. Still in Wulawayo, CID Commercial Crimes Division Southern Region has arrested a serial fraudster who fleeced many people of valuable properties such as houses using fake documents. Inspector Abed Nikonube sheds more light on this case. The arrested person is Setukani Nube, 45 years of age. He resides in Keta area, but is originally from Matopo. This man has been conning in conjunction with his co-accused persons who are already serving. They conned more than 12 people that the case is facing, and the money that is involved is plus or minus 840,000 rands. He would target a house under construction or any property, go to city council and other areas to establish or to find out the registered owner. He then, with his friends, create an imposter, a fake person, and create an identity document in the name of the person who is a registered owner of the said property. Agreement of sale are compiled and people pay such monies which are then shared amongst all those members of the syndicate. Some of the complainants are narrating very painful ordeal. The difference was Maurice West End was a female. We are not thinking it was a male. Right. I paid them about 4,000 US dollars, right? When I wanted to start building, though, I want to go to the state, I say, I say, we will go to the end of the man. That's when I reported the matter to the police. We therefore urge members of the public to be patient, 
follow proper channels and moreover engage police officers particularly members from commercial crimes division to clear your person to clear your seller so that you buy from a really genuine person don't rush to part away with your money don't rush to clear don't rush to buy as the government is fighting COVID-19, it is disturbing that some people are into smuggling of second-hand clothes which were banned by the government. Police in Mutare has accounted for two such smugglers on separate occasions. We received information to the effect that one of these persons was coming from Mozambique through border streams. We reacted to the information and intercepted the accused person. We searched his vehicle and recovered 21 barrels of second-hand clothes. We received information of a Toyota which we carrying another contraband from Mozambique. We, we also reacted to the information. We searched the vehicle and recovered 23 uh, barrels of second-hand clothes. I would like to thank the members of the public for continuously supplying information on the movement of contraband from Mozambique through illegal crossing points. As police, we will apprehend anyone found on the wrong side of the law to face the due processes of the law. Do not be found wanting. We take a short break. Join us in the second segment. It is the second segment of Crime Watch, and to those who are just joining us, welcome. Criminal Investigations Department have unearthed a syndicate specializing in unlawful entry and theft cases. In the process, property worth over 200,000 Zimbabwean dollars was recovered. Elliot Kutai Kanyani visited CIT Southerton property and filed this report. During this COVID-19 pandemic, it is least expected that people would indulge in criminality. This was not the case for three Harare men who during such a critical time chose to indulge in unlawful entry and theft offences. Criminal Investigations Department of Southerton Property busted this syndicate and recovered various property, some of which are with me here. We did a chat with Detective Inspector Severino Mashiri to tell us more on the escapades of these three criminals. We have been receiving reports of unlawful entry and theft in our area of policing which includes Kambuzuma and Warren Park. Following a tip-off by members of the public, we arrested Tamusanga Mlawuzi, aged 34 years, which led us to the arrest of Eric Joseph Gilbert, aged 23, and Tsungai Robson Chamboko, aged 28 years. These criminals would target butcheries, bottle stores, as well as residential premises. We are happy as a CID that we have recovered property which includes generators, plasma television sets, expensive whisks, butchery scales, among other property which we have valued at over 200,000 Zimbabwe dollars. The accused are appearing in court facing seven counts of unlawful entry and theft. We are still making follow ups with a view to recover more property and arrest of other criminals. Thieves broke into my property and, uh, and uh, took beer, a set of uh, television, and my neighbors were not spared either. They lost uh, quite a lot. I'm so grateful for the recovery of uh, most of the items uh, we, we found in uh, in Kambuzuma. My greatest appreciation to the police force yeah, and to the Kambuzuma community. They played a great role in the recovery of all these items. What, what I would want to aid the uh, business uh, community is that um, we need to work uh, with the police, we need to work uh, with the community and uh, also there is need for us to tighten our security. We are here at Kambuzuma Section 2 Shopping Centre where Mr. Warren Chinyanyi narrates how these criminals broke into his butchery and stole a lot of property. 
kutishwa paka breako pata masasarika zote akatanga kupinda ni pa window rekto ili tu kwa waka puka ni ndovu wa pinda ndovu wa tendera ndovu waka shuko jamba ni pamoja sorop apa paka furika kwa wa jamba ndovu shuko pinda muno waka breaka ku office waka tora DVR ni ma cameras ni ma cameras acho so that is not umbo report that is taka to relax so pale jere taka mukoma ni paka zonfu na chida pana watu sabato kambu zimu kumadi ku report Lupa ni kato zumanya wino reporta ipapu. Then nda reporta, ndi to zumu kwa, ah, generator wani. Sunza kato wanda, sato wani. Nda kato, ah, nda mapurisa itapasa. Goza, nda nsinga mbufi kwa taa, ah, shunga wani kwe, nda chiko taa, ah, mapurisa. But, to me surprise, nda wana taa, mapurisa ruti tazi, aruto shanta. Saka, Dai wan wajib tu kuansa kalau kita reporter di day yang aku realise that something is missing, aku bongo reporter ipa guna ipa. CID Southern Property also arrested two people for a number of robbery cases, which were committed mostly at dark and secluded places. We spoke to Detective Inspector Severino Mashiri on this case. I can confirm that we have arrested two accused persons, McDonald Mutarangandu, aged 29 years and knowledge Muzenda aged 27 years for robbery which occurred in areas of Wazana and Marimba. These accused persons were targeting people who move in secluded and dark places, robbing them of their property. The two are clearing seven cases of robbery and are appearing in court. Please avoid secluded and dark places and as police we encourage you to move in groups. In our previous episode, we carried a story where a Harare man was robbed of his vehicle and Nissan Silfi at Mapfuku Tenov along Harare Mutari Road. In similar circumstances, two brothers, Aaron and Prosper Rizuizo of Kadoma, stole a Honda Fit vehicle from its owner who they had hired before using it to rob some unsuspecting people along Kadoma Sanyati Road. In an off-camera interview, Officer in Charge Crime CAD Kadoma, Detective Inspector Shevani Sitole, said the two drove away with the vehicle at Ada Dorin Estate in Kadoma after the driver had temporarily disembarked from the vehicle, leaving the engine on. The duo then drove towards Sanyati and picked some people who they later robbed of 500 US dollars, 6,600 Zimbabwean dollars, and a cell phone. Police officers manning a roadblock in Sanyati reacted swiftly upon receiving information of the two fugitives and apprehended Prosper Ruzito, who has since appeared at Kadoma Magistrate Court, where he was sentenced to an effective five years imprisonment for theft of a motor vehicle and robbery. Police are still looking for Aaron Ruzito, aged 27, whose last known address is house number 10, First Avenue, Westview, Kadoma. Anyone with information that may help in locating this suspect should contact any nearest police station or call CID Kadoma on 068-2122-427. As police, we urge members of the public to always use public service vehicles and desist from boarding unregistered motor vehicles. We also urge you to turn off car engines and remove keys from the ignition whenever disembarking from vehicles. We we'll take a short break. Join us in the third and final segment. Cyclists are a part of the traffic jungle. And in view of this, the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe saw it pertinent to talk about them with a focus on preventing unnecessary loss of lives and property on the roads. A bicycle is regarded as a vehicle. One fundamental principle is that our cyclists must ride the bicycle on the left. There is one issue there. As they try to ride on the left, the road mechanism, road infrastructure might not have the space for the cyclist, which means they are riding at the edge of, uh, at the, edge of the road and making sure that that shoulder of the road is safe for them to be cycling. This bicycle is regarded as a vehicle. Its fitness 
just like the fitness of any vehicle is key. The law requires that this bicycle must have functional brakes. So you can miss a bus or no gumbo. Chero kumusha, chero town in George Ioyo. We must also fit this bicycle with a um, white headlamp. Why white color? It is a reflective color. It is a signal to other road users, especially motorists, that there is a bicycle. Apart from that, we also need to have a rear red reflector on this bicycle. The law also requires that the bicycle must have a license disc. License disc in the urban areas. It is an urban bylaw and the requirement. Another temptation by cyclists is to hang uh, on another bicycle or a vehicle. This is dangerous. But Baskoro, no passengers. The only uh, passenger is your luggage, which is of size. There is a special type of a business bicycle. Business in which sense? Renounce Jim Dara Baskoro, renounce the order bike. Order bike is one bike like this one that has got provision to put your luggage right at the front and provision to put your luggage right at the back. But you are supposed to make sure that you are not overloading. If you overload this, you lose your balance. When you lose your balance, you are going to fall. So this rider here has made sure that the load is actually secured. Yeah. When you speak about secure load, it's about securing the load using these particular ropes to make sure that the load is going to remain in place as well as the load at the back. Then we come to the issue of both hands on the handles. You will only uh, use one hand when you are doing signals, like you are supposed to be stopping and you are supposed to take off or turn left or right. There are no driving schools for riders. Riding is something that can be done at home, but you, we recommend you read the highway code. It has got a section on the safety of our cyclists. As you do so, you cannot start to learn to ride a bicycle in the full uh, road network. Start it at home, at the backyard, and you ride your bicycle. Because we don't expect uh, learner cyclists, because they are not indicated, they are not given. But this cyclist is a learner cyclist. You just have to be perfect at your job. Safety first, there is no second chance. One cyclist echoed his sentiments aimed at promoting coexistence between cyclists and motorists. My challenge is no bicycle Uri Mulendra Gore recycling. Motors no one out to aim on Zoto Gisti Bagano to Zingam Lane running Gori. Uri Ozimeno go out to any opposite traffic. Ijito, we are Ijito Vaguberi Gua, which you are. So we are forced to get Tinga Tags to Farmanim Sango because near this is a chance of Farmanim cycle trip. We now want to say some of Basco no cruise drag me from my reflectors. In a case of theft and vandalism of public utilities and infrastructure, Hillside Police Canaan Section in Bulawayo nabbed two people after they successfully tracked the duo. It was established that the two were specializing in stealing Telwan copper wires. One of them has since been sentenced to 70 years imprisonment. Let us hear more. We received a case from your side where two accused persons were arrested. After taking over this case, we carried out investigations. During our investigations, we discovered that these accused persons had committed other cases in Pnawai. On the investigation, we discovered that they committed three cases in Donington area five cases in Hillside area, and three cases in Kulmani, to make a total of 11 cases. During our investigations, we also discovered that after stealing these tail wire cables, they would take them to a bush area where they would bend the cables to extract the copper wire, and we managed to recover these aluminum casings. And also on preparing the dockets, a pardon is found he admitted to seven counts, whereby he alleged that he committed these offenses alone. And these cases were taken to court and pardon Spanda was found guilty and convicted and sentenced to 70 years imprisonment. Sabona, you want to fit here, you
The following people are on the police wanted list. Meli Moyo, age 20, of Simbuga village, Chief Mate, Guyu is wanted for a case of unlawful entry and theft by Guyu police in Matebeleland South Province. Victoria Falls police are looking for marvelous Ngube, age 23, of house number 4518 Chinotimba, Victoria Falls, for a case of rape. In another case, Waterfalls police in Harare are hunting for Diana Murira, aged 30, of house number 1261, 9th Avenue, Waterfalls, Harare. She is wanted in connection with theft of trust property. Lastly, Kuruwe police in Mashonal and Central Province are looking for Grashwet Kapanga of Chimanikire Village, Chief Chipuriro, Kuruwe, for stock theft. Feel free to contact any police establishment should you have information that may help in the location of these people. Alternatively, you can get in touch with us on the following details. Our National Complaints Desk number is 0242-703-631. You can also visit our website www.zetherapy.gov.zw. Alternatively, email us on feedback at zetherapy.gov.zw. Our Twitter handle is at Police Zimbabwe and our Facebook page Zimbabwe Republic Police. In case you missed any of our episodes, our YouTube channel is Zimbabwe Republic Police. It has been a pleasure having you along. Till we meet again next time, remember to always wash your hands with running water and soap or sanitize where possible. Stay home and stay safe and religiously wear your mask when outdoors. Together we can fight COVID-19. It's bye-bye for now.